Welcome to Minutes That Matter. In this video, we will learn how to install and configure additional domain controller. Now in the previous videos we have already seen, we have a domain controller with the domain india.com in server 01. So let's log into the server 01. Now in fact we can start off by creating a new virtual machine, selecting our Windows Server operating system. Let's call it as Server02. Now we have seen the similar steps previously in our very first video about installing Windows Server 2016 operating system. So I am just following the same steps. Now I am pretty sure you might have seen the very first video in this series about installing Windows Server 2016 and these are the same steps I am following so I am running the video a little fast to save your time. Now we all know that additional domain controller is used as a load balance, as a backup for our domain controllers. Now we can have additional domain controller not only for a root domain controller but also for a child domain controller or a new domain tree in the existing forest. ADC can do load balancing as well at the same time by sharing different Active Directory roles. Looks like the installation is complete. Uh, I've just uh, provided the administrator password. Now we can log in as administrator into this local computer. Right now it is a fresh machine with uh, no other settings configured. So we can enable synchronize clock for the VM tools so that it will be updated properly and yes we need to also install vm tools and rename the computer so let's do that now i'm going for installing the vm tools first now if you think this video is a little too fast you can uh, refer to the first video in this series. Now we are done with uh, installing the VM tools. Now we need to also rename the computer and then shut down the computer so that we can take a snapshot. We know our computer name is going to be server02. You can see that it will ask for a restart. So let's uh, give shutdown instead and uh, before we proceed with any uh, further lab configurations we'll take a snapshot so that we can revert to this snapshot in future if required. So yes we have taken the snapshot and I have powered on the computer and that's my domain controller by the way right now that is server01. Now let's go to Active Directory Users and Computers and uh, check where the information about domain controllers is visible. That is under the domain india.com. Under domain controllers, we can see that it is empty and in the client section we have or computers section we have only one client computer. And in DNS, we have two host records related to two computers that is our server 01 and the other one is server 02 which is supposed to be visible after adding it to the domain. So we checked our DNS and we also checked our active directory. We have server 01 
and client 01 details but not server 02 not yet by the way okay the computer re name renamed successfully we can change that time zone to match with our server So let's configure the IP address on the server 02 as well, a static IP address. So right click on the Ethernet 0, go to properties and then uh, disable IPv6, uh, select IPv4. Let's uh, set the IP address 192.168.10.3 uh, because 10.2 we have given it for our client. Okay, and so preferred DNS is going to be the IP address of the same server that is 10.3 and we're going to assign the alternate DNS where our active directory is already located and our domain India is located. So we'll give 192.168.10.1 as our alternate DNS so that we can contact and uh, get the name resolution done from the domain controller in our forest. Now you can see we got our 10.3 IP address. Now let's go ahead and proceed with the Active Directory installation steps. So we know we'll go for add roles and features. And when we see the list of roles, we'll select ADDS. Okay, let's select install. Let me uh, speed up this video part. Okay, looks like we are done with the installation. Now we need to promote this computer as a domain controller. So in the notification icon, we will select promote this server as a domain controller. So uh, here the very first option is what we need. That is uh, add a domain controller to an existing domain. Now we can click on select and give domain name and administrator that is india slash administrator and then password okay so if you cannot see uh, the domain name in the list we can just give india.com and check again Now it's saying that it has encountered an error but all we can do is simply just type india.com and click next though it is saying an error it will still work you can see that we were uh, able to Proceed to the next screen. It's going to be a DNS server as well as a global catalog. But if we put a tick for read only domain controller, then this server is going to turn into a read only domain controller after the installation. But for now, we are not selecting RODC. Hence, this computer is going to act like an additional domain controller. Now I am giving the DSRM password looks like i did not type the proper password okay now uh, we can simply click next to proceed now we can install uh, the active directory from any media that is uh, from a pen drive or a hard disk or a dvd drive or so but uh, 
we have our domain controller in the same network so we don't need to choose IFM that is installed from media so we chose to install it directly from our server 01.india.com and then proceed with the installation you can see the prerequisite check passed and so we are proceeding with the installation let me speed up this video Okay, looks like uh, we are able to log in to the domain controller as administrator. Now this is our additional domain controller and we are logging in as domain administrator for the first time. As usual, the server manager will appear. Now we can go to tools in server manager and go to DNS to check the updated records in the forward lookup zone of india.com you can see we got server 2 visible which is also having the exact same records as india.com domain controller there it is we got all the information now we can go to Active Directory Users and Computers and uh, under the Domain Controllers container we can see our Domain Controllers Server 01 and Server 02 and the Client 01 You can see all the information has replicated successfully from DC to ADC so in this video we have learned how to install and configure additional domain controller. In the next video we will learn about RODC. Thank you for watching.